I don't know, Rudy, if I can take this one more time. I, I, but, uh, I about lost it last time watching this. So It was awfully touching. Uh, Bill Lamb is a salesman uh, from our staff, and he uh, took his family with his home video camera, and just on a whim, little did he know he would be one of the last people to see him alive, see Secretary, yeah. and that is the story. There's a simple stone in the burial, burial ground at Claiborne Farm outside of Lexington, Kentucky. The inscription reads, Secretariat, 1970 to 1989. The big red stallion, considered by many to be the greatest racehorse ever, was humanely put to sleep last Wednesday, suffering from an incurable hoof condition that was causing him a great deal of pain. Ironically, just three days before that, Bill Lamb and his family drove to Claiborne Farm on a whim, hoping to see this race, racing legend. They're at the head of the stretch, and Cam is the leader. He leads it by a length. Secretariat is in the center of the racetrack and driving. Jackie Green now drops back. Secretariat on the outside to take the lead. Cam holding in second. It's Secretariat moving away. He has it by two and a half. I always felt like I'd want to see Secretariat, the greatest racehorse that ever lived. And we drove in and and actually wound up seeing the owner who, you know, came down the path from the stables. And I said, you know, I hate to impose, but, you know, we've just driven four hours and I didn't know you needed an appointment. I thought this was like Graceland or something. You know, you just show up and you go see Secretariat. And he says, oh, no, it's nothing like that. And I said, I mean, is there any way we could see the stallions while we're here, even though we don't have an appointment? And he said, uh, yeah. There are a couple hands up there. I think will probably take you up there when they they'll be coming down in just a minute down the path. Why don't you go into the the cemetery right there and take a look at some of the the tombstones of the some of the other great horses that we've had here? And I said, so we'll get to see the stallions. Probably can't see Secretariat though, huh? And he said, no, I'll show them to you. I'll show them to you. I'm thinking, wow, this is great. So I'm in there and I'm trying to shoot my video of the tombstones in the cemetery. And I mean, I'm nervous because I mean, I'm I don't want to miss anything. And we walked out, and there was Secretariat, and he's just grazing. And they won't let him into his paddock to graze unattended now because, you know, they're afraid that he'd, he'd run. He's just got so much spunk, and you, he, they, he couldn't be running on those, on those hoofs. So um, we stood there, and I shot some video of him. And, and when, when we walked out there, and he heard us, his head came up, and he turned, and he looked at us. Oh, I mean, he, he knew he was on. And then he, he settled back down. He said, well, you look and I'll eat. So he just sat there and grazed, stood there and grazed. And, and then my kids were all standing together. And he started to walk over. And the, the handler let him get within about three feet of the kids. And, uh, you know, I just, I said, kids, turn around. Let me shoot some video of you with Secretariat. And it was just, it was just wonderful. Did you know how bad his hoof condition was, what was wrong with him? They told us that um, uh, it was bad and that sometimes it killed horses. But they said, we think we have it under control. And they gave my daughter, uh, they, they said, Kira, here's something that you might like. And they, they gave her a braided piece of his mane. And they handed it to her. And she took it to school and was a big hero on Monday. But. Secretariat was laid to rest next to his daddy, Bold Ruler. So uh, the, all these horses, he's, he's the greatest sire of all time, Bold Ruler. Yeah. And the other horses are there, but they always save the spot right next to daddy for Secretariat. Yeah, well, he certainly earned it. Didn't he? he did. Okay, thank you, Rudy. We'll be right back.